Hi guys, it's Brittany with Eating Elephants and I am 17 weeks pregnant this week. First of all, oh excuse me, I'm always burping, always uh, hiccuping. That's just my life and it's probably going to be my life until I have this baby. But anyway, I have some explaining to do. Basically, okay, my last update was 13 weeks. So, at 14 weeks, I just had nothing new to say. <laughs> so, I was like, well, I'm not going to do a video this week. And then 15 weeks came along, and I was about to do a video. And then um, my husband's grandpa passed away. And um, so, I didn't get to do a video then. And I, I'm just now getting around to it this week. So, um, <clears throat> that being said sorry about not having a video up these last few weeks i really didn't have a whole lot to say uh in 14 or 15 anyway so uh yeah i finally have some things to say now and one of those things is in my phrase for this for these weeks which is i'm having a son so it is a boy and we are so excited about that my husband's grandfather's who passed away his name was richard and my husband's name is Richard. Uh, so we have Richard Sr., Richard Jr., Richard III, who is my husband. And our little baby is going to be Richard IV. And I'm very excited about that. And I'm very happy to be able to keep the name going, especially since we just lost Richard Sr. Let's move on to symptoms. I've been having mild morning sickness usually in the morning or if I let myself go too long without eating. In general I've been feeling a whole lot better uh, like most people do around this point in their pregnancy. I, I've had a small amount of weight loss in the last few weeks. It hasn't been significant but I d definitely haven't gained any weight yet. Um, my appetite is a lot better and I'm uncomfortable when I lay down. It's kind of like I'm laying on a water balloon, if that makes sense. Like there's, I feel like there's something in my lower belly that I should not lay on. <laughs> and if I do, it's like, it's like a water balloon, like a half filled water balloon, like trying to lay on that. So um, I did win a boppy pillow in a giveaway that uh, one of my doula friends was, was having. But I just haven't gotten it yet because uh, the day that I won that pillow is, is like the day after my father-in-law passed away. I mean, my grandfather-in-law passed away. So I've been busy with that and they don't live where I live. They live a couple towns over. So I've been spending a lot of time over there and I just haven't had time to get it from her, to get the pillow from her. But <clears throat> yeah, I did get a boppy pregnancy pillow from um, from a friend that I won in a giveaway and um that's gonna i feel like that's gonna help a lot in trying to get comfortable as i sleep supplements i am back taking my expensive new chapter prenatals instead of the gummies since i have been feeling a lot better where um, morning sickness is concerned i take the fish oil when i remember and i take the b6 when i remember and um i'm now taking a homeopathic blood pressure remedy because uh, my blood pressure can can spike sometimes it my resting blood pressure usually isn't um isn't bad but when i'm anxious or um when i get riled up about something it can spike pretty quickly uh as i said as i've said before i have suffered with um clinical anxiety before and while it is a lot better nowadays um it, situations can still make my blood pressure my pulse everything else spike like I said I have really strong stress reactions so um, yeah so I have the homeopathic blood pressure remedy it's a spray remedy and then I have um, I still take the rescue remedy homeopathic as needed which is just a homeopathic remedy for stress and anxiety as far as my diet goes, I've been eating a lot more varied diet. I have actually been cooking again, which is awesome. As you guys know, or may or may not know, my husband is a trucker, so most of the time I'm here by myself. So um, 
I don't have nearly as much motivation to cook when he's not here, but um, or when I have no one to cook for. And usually when I do cook, I'll go to my parents' house and cook so that I have somebody to eat it, or I'll invite my cousin over to eat or something like that. But I have been cooking more lately. Last night I cooked um, stuffed bell peppers. I stuff, I use Italian sausage and mozzarella cheese and all that jazz, and I stuff um, red bell peppers. So it is a very a very nutritious meal with all of the food groups in it um <clears throat> and oh and it, it was italian turkey sausage we use turkey sausage so that's kind of an example of the meals that i eat um if that makes sense then i, ha I have been eating some junk food here and there i uh if i have a really bad craving i usually let myself have it and it's usually once and i'm done um my mental state I am actually getting really excited about my son like I'm I've been kind of cautiously optimistic up to this point and um, with the knowledge that I may not come home with a baby at the end of well I'm planning a home birth but you know what I mean I might not have a baby at the end of this to um, raise you know that's what I've kind of been my mindset since the beginning but now I'm kind of coming to terms with the fact that there is that most likely I will have a baby to take care of most people who do get pregnant and get to the point where I am right now do deliver and bring home and raise a baby so um, I've been feeling a lot more uh, confident about this pregnancy and I'm just really excited at this point I've been buying some things I'm gonna do a baby buys haul separately because I do have some things that I want to take take my time and talk about because they're all so cute and I'm so excited so I'm gonna do it in a separate video so that this video isn't forever long and yeah that's actually all I have written down if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments and I'll uh, either answer you there or add it to my next video and like I said I've been feeling really really good and uh, one more thing uh, that I want to mention in this video but I'm probably gonna make a separate small video about is um, I have made a registry that anyone can be a part of it is a registry with um, my dream birth team and it's actually a financial registry where you can um, lend financial help to families to help them with their birth expenses especially people who are doing home birth with a midwife or they're trying to get a birth kit or a doula or anything like that because those things usually aren't covered by insurance and in my case it is not covered by insurance so we're going completely out of pocket so while I probably won't do a online registry that I'll have open to you guys um, I would really appreciate if you guys participated in the um, my dream birth team registry I'll put a link in the description box so that you can find it don't feel any pressure to do this at all but I know a lot of you guys really do um, care for me and care for my baby and would like to help us in some way and I also might open a PO box later on in my pregnancies for anybody who wants to send us anything but um, really what uh, like I've said I want to have kind of a minimalistic um, approach to raising this baby so um really what we really need is financial help with the midwife and not to say that you know we're just so poor and we can't do it but it's thousands of dollars of extra money <laughs> that you have to put to some one specific thing and um her her fee is i think it's 4500 and then the birth kit and then the um the birth kit the um newborn screenings like the well baby checks that the midwife comes back for and all of that is separate all of my labs are separate everything like that so I've put 4800 on the registry thing and by no means do I think that we're going to um, raise the whole the entire amount I was just putting how much we have to pay I do not expect to to be given $4,800 by any means um, but anything helps absolutely anything helps and if you do um, participate in that registry I think you can do it anonymously but I would love if you guys told me somewhere if you get sent me a message an email something a comment on on here um, please let me know 
so that I can thank you and show you my gratitude. So thank you so much for watching. Look for that link in the description box. I love you guys. I'm so sorry that I went MIA again. Um, and I'm going to try my best to not let that happen anymore. So thank you so much for watching. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. I almost forgot the belly shot. But here you go. I have grown some, but I don't think I've grown a whole, whole lot. I'll lift this up so you can see a little bit better. But there's my belly. I have definitely grown, but I see other thinner ladies who like you can automatically just tell they're pregnant at this point and then other bigger ladies who actually already have some hardness going on I'm still soft <laughs> so I don't I don't know what's up with that but yeah this is how I look right now from the front can't really tell anything from the front but from the side you can kinda see that there's something going on there alright I guess that's it one more time how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time bye bye